Well, the recent heavy rain here in California is now only highlighting, really, the growing water infrastructure problem that we have all across the state. Budget Vice Chair Vince Fong and Assembly Republican Leader James Gallagher are now calling for additional investments in water storage, conveyance, and flood protections. Joining us now to talk more about this is Assemblyman Vince Fong. Uh, Assemblyman, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you as well. Tell me what some of your concerns are already with, with just water storage and conveyance and these flood protections. Sure. Well, these storms have certainly put California's need to invest in critical water infrastructure front and center. Over the past few years, we have implored uh, the Newsom administration to join us in investing in needed water storage and infrastructure. We shouldn't um, be sending all this water out to the ocean. We should be storing these precious water supplies for our communities when we need it. Uh, so it's time to prioritize funding, streamline the permits for these water storage projects, and you know provide more flood protection to safeguard our communities. In fact, in 2017, we had a really rainy season. I mean, we were all celebrating how much water we were getting, but it seemed like, based upon the infrastructure, we lost a lot of that rainwater, right, that could have been kept to, to be used for drinking and farming and so forth. Absolutely. I mean, we go through, uh, you know, the seasons of feast and famine when it comes to water. Water is a fundamental necessity for Californians. It's, it's critical for our economy, our food production, our drinking water, and water for our homes and businesses. And so, you know, we certainly are in a drought uh, uh, for the time being. You know, hopefully Mother Nature will bless us with even more water. But th that's that's the whole point is that when Mother Nature blesses us with water supplies, we should be storing that water so that when we are in uh, a future drought, uh, in, 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 you know, whenever that happens, you know, we have that water to, to use uh, at that very time. We can't be missing these opportunities. We should be building reservoirs like Sites Reservoir. We should be repairing uh, canals like the Fry and Kern Canal, the, the, the Delta Mendota Canal, enhancing the California aqueduct uh, so that we can store all this water and move more water across the state of California. Well, I was just going to ask you, what do we need to do? It sounds like we've, we need more reservoirs. We've got to fix the ones we've already, we already have. These aqueducts need to be repaired. What other kinds of things do you think um, could be invested in to try to just kind of do better with water in the state of California? Well, there's a laundry list of water projects uh, from Northern California to the Central Valley to Southern California. Uh, part of it is the, the need for more resources. And certainly, you know, at, at last year when we had a surplus, you know, the governor did not put any additional money into water storage or conveyance. And, you know, now as the governor is preparing to release his uh, his budget proposal uh, on Tuesday, um, you know, we, we hope that he will actually make this a priority. But this is 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 critical for the long term health of our state. And we need to streamline the process. A lot of these projects have been on the books for decades and they've been stuck in this regulatory vortex uh, where the governor himself is pleading for his for for these permits to get approved and and the governor needs to look in the mirror. Yeah, well we'll certainly keep following it see what the governor does and uh, other lawmakers. Vince Fong for us. Uh, great to see you assemblyman. Thank you. Thanks for having me.